Good morning, guys, from beautiful Lao today. We got a very nice view of mountains. I'm going to show you guys phase two of the Crypto Fund Trader 100K Challenge. I'm going to show you my trades and my trading style. So let's go. Welcome, guys. If you missed the first video, check it out definitely. It's how I passed the first phase in one day. And this is the second phase in one day. So I sped up the trades so that it wouldn't be too boring this time because the other video was pretty long, but I think I explained it quite well what I was doing. I will try to do a better explanation this time though. So what happened in these first trades, for example, was I saw the price going down during the Asian session and we can mark this as a zone since you know, the price couldn't get past this zone the previous time, right? Let's just take the first example here. You know, I saw that the price couldn't move. It created a lower high. So I entered it over here, got a scalp. Then the price entered into the zone again and created a lower high. So I shorted it again. And by the way, I'm only focusing on German 40 for this explanation because otherwise it just gets too messy, too many things to focus on. But uh, here you see the lower high being created and I was riding it quite well. It was almost a thousand bucks in profit and I was getting pretty confident. I held it on, held it on and you know, it was going pretty nicely in profit and we were already almost like 1.5% in profit over here. Both trades were doing really well. Here you see where we actually were as well on the actual time. Here you see also the trading view at that time. So you know which trade it actually was and actually this was the first mistake that i made i held those trades too long and i ended up sacrificing all the profits that i made before with that previous scalp so we were trading this zone right so we got a nice scalp here made 600 bucks here and then i went into another short we were almost about one thousand dollars profit with that trade and then it completely reversed and i was kind of scared guys i was kind of scared that this thing will pump through so i exited the trade over here with the loss and try to minimize, you know, further loss. Sometimes you gotta take the loss as a boss and not let it go too far. Otherwise, so it'll just be in drawdown and it will not be a nice experience. But then we just continued and this is how we got further. So then I realized that the market was basically just playing tricks on me because right after that bigger candle that kind of seemed like a breakout, it had a lower high again. And that's when I decided to short both the US 30 and the German DAX again. And it did go into minus first, but now I was really confident that they were just playing tricks with me and that it will go down eventually. Now guys, I zoomed in because I want you guys to look at the last candle that is right there. You see how it's moving downwards, it's really pushing downwards. And you know, I sped this up a little bit because it's just very boring to wait and wait and wait for this to develop. But you know, you just basically through price action can know when something wants to go down or, you know, go up. You know, I'm really doing my best here, guys. I'm doing my best to explain this. So with the first trade, we had a lower high, went down. Uh, with this trade, we had lower high again, boom, pushed down. I held it too long, guys. I thought it was gonna go down here, but it didn't. So that's why we lost that trade and went back into minus. But here, you know, I saw the lower high. And then this was the candle that was like really starting to push down. And that's exactly, when it started to push down and it created and then it actually created a lower high from the previous so this is where we're going to continue but it was good that i held on to that position right there and here you see the us 30 chart so don't get confused this is another pair but like i said guys it's better as a beginner to focus on one pair at the same time because otherwise it will be too much but this is the dax again and i slowed it down so that you will see this moment because this is an important moment so i saw dax perhaps reversing but i waited a little bit to see if it would actually continue to reverse or if I should keep holding it on. So here you see me just holding the button for close all trades. I was holding the trigger, holding the trigger, but then as you can see, it moved, went into black, black, started to push down a little bit more. So I was like, oh, is it going to push? Is it going to push? And then I saw, yes, it is pushing downwards more. So that's why I held on guys. And this is, you know, you gotta have your eye on the charts all the time guys so you can see that you know if it's going to reverse or if it's going to push further into your direction and in this case i ended up closing them all 
at a really nice profit. So what we ended up catching was this little move over here. Then I was kind of done with the DAX for a while. I wanted to look at something different. So, so I put a trade with Euro JPY, but this trade never really developed into anything. It was a limit order, but it never really got hit. So I did do some trades with UK 100, but then I just decided to go back into the DAX and long the DAX, so buy the DAX this time. And I will just go deeper into this because this one was a little bit more thought out. So let me just pause it right here and go into the charts. All right, there's a lot going on in the charts here to explain. So on the left side, we have Fibonacci. I created a zone at the bottom, that purple thing that you see at the bottom. The red thing is the EMA, which is basically just the trend. Now we're on the 15 minute time frame here, but on the one hour time frame, it is above the red line. So that means that we're still in an uptrend. So that is why I felt really comfortable to go in for a long. So I actually was also in a FTSE trade, which is the UK 100, top 100 UK companies. But I closed that trade because I only wanted to focus on the DAX. Because like I said earlier, it's much easier to focus just on one pair and to focus fully on that. Now I can focus on multiple things, but it does get a little bit hectic when you got like three trades open and you gotta go in between charts. Now I did have the Fibonacci extension to open. So I made these horizontal lines to make the Fibonacci numbers more clear on the charts. So the 100% line is what I was aiming for as the take profit for this trade. And as you can see, it actually perfectly bounced off that other Fibonacci line. So that was extra confirmation as well for this trade. And as you can see, the trade was going really well. It got a really nice push and it pushed actually past those bearish candles and it was going into higher price targets. So I was very comfortable with this trade, sweating it along. And I kind of knew already that the price target would get hit, our price target. So here we see it's almost hitting that line right now, but I actually had my take profit a bit higher than what I originally had planned because I just saw just a lot of momentum behind that candle. Sometimes I do this as long as I don't see any, you know, pushback for a trend, then I just keep riding it till I see some kind of pushback. So I just kept riding it. And here you can see that it really started to pay off about over a thousand bucks in profit already with this trade. And I was still holding it. But then I started to see a little bit of pushback. The candle had some pushback, especially on the lower time frames. I saw a few red candles coming in and then I checked the Fibonacci and it was right at that level, right? Right where we wanted to take profit basically. So then I decided to get out of the trade and I basically went straight again for the opposite side. So I sold the position and that started to go well as well. I mean, it's a double top as well. It's a lot of things. I put the stop loss quite high because it could have moved a little bit higher, but I just knew that it was gonna go down. So eventually it did go down, got a nice 300 profit there, a little scalp. And then the DAX just started to look a little bit funky to me and uh, US 30 as well and stuff. So then I went for Euro JPY the trade that we wanted earlier because there was a place where I wanted to short it from a zone where I wanted to eventually short JPY from, but I decided to actually long it into that place where I wanted to short it from, if that makes sense. And it was perfectly riding the 89 EMA as you can see over here as well. So it was above the 89 EMA, perfect for a long in my opinion. And then I went really heavy on a Euro USD short because I just saw that it was making this pattern and the RSI kept getting weaker and weaker and weaker while the candles were going higher. And this is what we call a bearish divergence on the RSI. So that is how I knew that this thing was going to go down. And that was basically the last trade. I kept moving the take profit more downward, more downward because this thing was just going to go down and I put 20 lots. And this is also where I want to mention that this is probably the best prop firm in terms of trading conditions, because there's no spread, no slippage, almost no fees, even with these high lot positions. And I love trading this way because I do a quick scalp sometimes and I just love it that with this prop firms, it's just so easy. And I made that last bit that I needed for the 4% gain for the second phase. I made that in a couple of minutes. So that was just amazing. And this is how I passed the challenge guys. So I didn't even need that Euro JPY trade anymore. And that was it.
And you know what, guys? Like, I've been training Bitcoin in the weekends as well, and it's just been so amazing. You know, I have, you know, done, you see, BTC, USDT, XRP. Uh, the fees are just absolutely amazing. You get 100x leverage, which you don't get with any other pro firm. So I love training crypto again, guys. I love it because of this pro firm. You know, you have so much capital. I got 100K live funded now. And I can trade Bitcoin on the weekends. I can trade indices. I can trade stocks, you know, everything. So it's just absolutely an amazing prop firm. Other prop firms should really take notes from this one because they have proof of funds as well. So let's let's take a look at that. So check it out, guys. Proof of reserves of nearly 1.7 million and total users profit funds of 552k guys in addition the list of our funded traders is fully public so it's all transparent and we can see who the top earners are and all that good stuff and it was also verified by cyberscope crypto fund trader on the cyberscope website and i love how there's also this competitive ranking system so there's bronze silver gold emerald and diamond and master so obviously some guys are on the top already and you get these elo points every time you withdraw or pass a challenge it basically goes up in points if you lose a challenge you lose points so that's the thing as well but i'm actually already on 198 and i have made it to the top 200 so i have 808 elo points and that's pretty cool i'm already emerald so I'm already here trying to go to diamond and hopefully one day I'll be on the master position, but then I would have to be the top earner, which I probably won't make it to, but you never know. Shoot your goals high guys. You never know what's going to happen, but I think this is really cool as well. So anyway, I talked to the guys from crypto fund trader and I can offer you guys a 7% discount now with the code Marcus seven and it will give you a little discount so if you want to use it go ahead link is in the description and i promise you guys some people have already tried it and it's just amazing it's like no other pro firm that you've ever tried in terms of the trading conditions and how smooth everything is and you only have to do eight percent for the first phase and four percent for the second phase and then the account is yours and then 80% of all the profits go to you and 20% goes to crypto fund trader. They also have the one phase, but that has a little bit less drawdown and stuff. So I prefer the two phase. I'll also pick a winner from the comment section. So somebody's gonna win a hundred bucks from the comment section of this video. So comment something, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.